Hello everyone, welcome to the Adoran region. I'm your host, Adoran himself, and we are back at it again with another Ace Attorney episode. Now, if you have no idea what's going on and why we are meeting this fella again, I would recommend checking out the playlist in the description below, and I sound much more energetic than usual, I'm not sure why. Anyway, so uh, last time we were here, we were talking to this guy about a bunch of fun stuff. So Grossberg here was telling us some interesting information about the DL6 incident, which you may remember from case number two, because it was mentioned then, uh, along with a few other things as well. So now we ought to move, if we're not mistaken. I think we go to the detention center. We got to go yell at Edgeworth at this point. Let's go. December 25th, detention center, visitor's room. What's this? I was hoping you'd gotten my message the first time. Edgeworth, what about your defense? Hm. It's no concern of yours. Well, I guess he hasn't found anyone yet. Alright, uh, obviously we can't examine. Let's go yell at him, because that's what we gotta do. Let's yell at him about uh, what happened. Can I ask you about the murder? Right. I'll ask you again. Just leave me alone. Um. Please, try to understand. I'm not doing this to prove I'm tough, or because I look down on you. I just don't want you anywhere near this case, understand? Oh, he's looking out for me? Aw, Edgeworth. Edgy. Okay. Let's talk about Gord Lake. Why, why did you go to Gord Lake? I have no intention of telling you. Nor apparently would you tell Detective Gumshoe. Detective Gumshoe was really worried about you. Alright, at this point, it's enough. It's time to show him the ultimate picture. Hey, Edgeworth, I got a picture for you. You're not gonna like this. Mm. E Edgeworth? It's only been a matter of hours since you last visited, yet you've made incredible progress in your investigation. I'll admit, I am impressed, right? You're always single-minded in your work, though. Once you start on something, you always see it through, don't you? Uh, about the DL6 incident. Right. DL6. I didn't want you to find out about it. That's why I refused your offer to defend me. I'm, I'm sorry if it sounded like I thought you weren't up to the job. I just wanted to keep you away from DL6. So, do you still think it would have been better for me to stay away? I don't know, but I see no point in hiding anything from you now. Very well. Ask whatever you'd like, and I will answer to the best of my ability. Well, it looks like uh, we finally got him on my side, thanks to the photo of uh, Maya's mother. So let's talk to him about the DL6 incident. The DL6 incident was when my father died. Right before my eyes, he was shot and killed. And I saw it all. My memories from that time are foggy. I suppose it's a self-defense mechanism. In any case, the suspect was arrested. A man. It's pretty clear he was the only one who could have killed my father. The spirit medium they used to talk to my late father said the same thing. It was an attorney by the name of Robert Hammond that cleared the suspect's name. And Hammond is the victim in this in the Gord Lake murder? Correct. Um, that spirit medium, that was my mom. What? You mean your... It's strange. I thought that terrible incident was about to end, and now, this. A about to end? The DL6 incident happened 15 years ago. 15 years ago, on December 28th. That's three days from now. December 28th? The statute of limitations on the case runs out in three days. B what? Um, Nick, what does statute of limitations mean? Uh, when the case's statute of limitations run out, legally, the case never happened. Three days from now, DL6 would be closed forever. Okay. Well, if we believe that Edgeworth didn't do this then, we're believing that the situation means... Somebody's trying to frame him and try to get 
you know, snuck under the rug during right before the Statue of Limitations situation. All right, suspect. What what happened to the suspect? The the one who got it off innocent? I don't know where. I don't know whose voice that was. I don't know. He disappeared from public view. Nobody knows where to. If he's still alive, he'd be about 50 years old now. I guess I can understand why he'd go into hiding. It'd be hard to live a normal life after being a murder suspect in such a big case. Alright, let's talk about Popsy. Um, so, was your father a lawyer? He was. Gregory Edgeworth. He was quite famous at the time, apparently. So, you were sort of trying to follow in his footsteps? I'd rather not talk about it. Cool. Now what? Uh, so we've talked about everything. We can't examine him. I don't want to leave. Is there anything else I can show you? Can I show you the article? Alright. Um, the lake photo? Here, how about this? Hmm. Who would have thought there would be a photo? Edgeworth, did you shoot him? What do you think, right? I don't think you're the kind to just point a gun at anyone, no. So you didn't shoot him? No, I didn't. It wasn't me. Right. Hmm? Pains me to ask you this now. I know, you want us to defend you. Well, don't worry, I'm on the case. Nick, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna go grab my Sherlock Holmes tweed hat. Bye. Yes. W will you? Uh, of course. I don't think you did it. Uh, so therefore, we ought to we oughta help. Uh, who could have guessed this day would come? <laughs> Not me. This is my chance to finally pay you back. Pay, pay him back? Pay me back? For what? I don't remember ever doing anything for you. N never mind. I guess you don't really need to know. My letter of request. Please give it to Detective Gumshoe. Sweet. Well, I guess we should... What's that? Earthquake, Nick! It's a big one! Whoa! Uh, smacking the mic a bit. Ooh, that was scary. Hmm? Huh? Where, where, where's Edgeworth? There. He's on the floor in the ball, shivering. I guess he doesn't do so well with earthquakes. He's afraid of running, but curling up with a ball? Well, I, I guess we're done. This Jedry doesn't seem like he's gonna stand up anytime soon. Yeah, let, let, let's go, Nick. Um, uh, right. Yeah. You have to give Edwards a letter of request to Detective Gumshoe. That's a word. Request. Alright, let's go. We have to go over to, uh... I assume he said his the Criminal Affairs Department. December 25th, Police Department, Criminal Affairs. What's going on here? Eek. What, what, what's wrong, Detective? This wild lady comes in here just a while ago. So she came to talk to y'all after hearing what Mr. Wright had to say. What's this all about, pal? Oh gosh, a lot of heart. Why are you going around finding more witnesses? You want to give Mr. Edgeworth a death sentence, pal? No, 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 not at all. Just, I mean, she did see something. There's nothing I can do about that. I can't go around covering up evidence. Uh... You're trying to say something about the way I do my job? No, 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 no. Uh, no. No, 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 no. Nope, Gumshoe, you're, the, you're top ten, uh, detectives named Gumshoe. Uh, uh speaking of the testament, so, what did Miss Hart say? You said she saw Mr. Edgeworth fire the pistol. Wh what? He even had a photograph to prove it. Right, I saw it too. But she really can't tell from the photo who it is shooting. That's why she said she's gonna enlarge the photo. She says it'll drop the quality of my, but she should let us see who who who. She, she can do that? Okay, so there's gonna be an enlarged photograph that shows Edgeworth in the act. Way to flip and go. Great. Just great. In any case, she's gonna be the one testifying tomorrow. Huh? What happened to the other witness? 
Well, apparently there was a cancellation. A cancellation? Can you cancel being a witness? I'm afraid tomorrow is going to be life or death for poor old Mr. Edgeworth. We got a witness who said she saw the very moment of the murder. And we got a photo taken when the shot rang out. I'd say that sounds like a pretty unwinnable case. But wait, what did Neil used to say? If he's innocent, there's got to be something I've overlooked. Hey, what about Edgeworth? It sounds like Mr. Edgeworth is going to ask the state to assign a public defender. I was asked to fill out the paperwork just now. But you still got time, pal. Go talk to him again, for me, please. You have to conceive him, convince him, not conceive him, that doesn't make sense. You have to make him, you have to make him let you defend you, dad. I don't know what I'm saying, just defend him, please. I know you're the only one who can do it, pal. You're the only one who can save Mr. Edgeworth. Okay, so I guess we could come here before talking to Edgeworth. Probably in between, um, talking to Edgeworth and, um, talking with, uh, Grossberg. You'd probably come in here. Um, but we've got something to show you. Hey, uh, I got a, I got a change of plans for you, bro. Look what I got. Hmm? Hey, you did it, pal. Glad I waited till the last minute to file those papers. I'll rip them up and start new ones for you. Thanks, detective. Well, see you in court tomorrow, then. Good luck, pal. Hey. You guys feel that earthquake a little while back? I was worried. Worried? We're fine. I've lived out here my whole life. I'm pretty much used to them by now. Oh, I wasn't worried about you two. I was worried about Mr. Edgeworth. Uh, oh, right. He did seem to overreact a little, now that you mention it. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised. It was a pretty big quake. I'm gonna go check on him. You two eat and go get your rest for tomorrow's trial. Later! Hmm... I wonder what it is with Mr. Edgeworth and earthquakes. I wonder. He was never that scared of them when he was in school. Then again, I was only in the same class as him for fourth grade. He transferred to another school after that. I wonder what happened to Edgeworth. Hmm. To be continued. Well, shucks, if I knew that this was going to be this close, I probably would have, uh... I would have uh, extended the episode a bit longer. Anyway, uh, since I'm not going to end the episode here because we're at the, like 10 minutes or something like that. So let's keep going. Uh, yeah, just save it and let's move on to the case. Here we go. December 26th, 9.44 a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 2. K Karma? Karma. Are we talking about like the idea of karma and omen type things. That's right. Manfred von Karma. He's the best prosecutor there is. He hasn't lost a case in his 40-year career. He's a god of prosecution, right? A god! Not a single case? He'll do anything to get the guilty verdict. Anything. Hmm. Not like someone else I know, Edgeworth. Hm. You don't understand. I mean, he'll really do anything. Manfred von Karma is a man to be feared. That's quite a claim, someone coming from someone who forges evidence. He taught me what it really means to prosecute. But what? Just picture a prosecutor as vicious as me, multiplied by a factor of ten. Uh, so, so is he your teacher then, Mr. Edgeworth? Something like that. And now he's trying to get you found guilty? What a creep. Uh, oh, wait. Maybe he's planning on losing on purpose to help you out. Maya, you're so adorable. There's no way, if he hasn't lost in his 40-year career, he's going to lose now. Not a chance. He hasn't lost once in 40 years. 40 years? Do you want me to repeat that? That's 40 years. He's as ruthless as me times 20. Wasn't it times 10, like 10 seconds ago? That's, that's pretty ruthless. Like I said, he's a god among the prosecutors. I guess it's something like Mia was to me. Speaking of Mia... Um, Maya? Uh-huh? We could really be using Mia's help to, right now, D don't you think? Oh. Something wrong? I... I can't. Sorry. I, I tried. I really tried, but I couldn't reach. You couldn't reach? 
I think it's because I haven't been training. My powers are weak again. Oh man, what bad timing. I'm really sorry. I'll, I'll try my best. I hope so. What are you whispering about? Oh, oh, it's uh, it's nothing. Well, it's time. Oh, it's our, well, well, it's time. Let's head in. All right. December 26th, 10 a.m. District Court, courtroom number three. Time of the case, you can see Von Karma right there in all of his glory. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Miles Edgeworth. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Uh, Mr. Von Karma, is the prosecution ready? Before he's ready, I gotta be ready. I gotta make sure I have the voice right. Um... Alright, let's go. I think I have a voice relatively close to uh, both the- I've noticed as well, although I haven't seen the Ace Attorney anime in a while, which does exist by the way, I would recommend checking it out. It's not the best in terms of anime quality, but I still really enjoy it, and if you can get past the first few episodes, which are kind of like, uh, they're not the best. Once the story really starts to get going, uh, around case number two of this game, wherever that is in the anime, I think that's episode like four or five-ish, um, once it starts going and going, it's a really, really good anime, in my opinion. Especially if you're an Ace Attorney fan. If you're just a regular anime fan, I don't know how much you like it. But if you like the Ace Attorney games, I think it's great. Anyway, um... On Karma, is the prosecution ready? Fool. You seriously think I would stand to be here were I not completely prepared? R right my... Wait, right, my apologies. He's even got the judge scared. Very well. Your opening statement, please. Decisive evidence. A decisive witness. What else could you possibly re be required? Uh, 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 nothing is of course. That should be fine. That's great. Uh, prosecution may call its first witness. What, what, what's with this guy? Is he royalty or something? How am I supposed to fight against this? I call the detective in charge of this case, Detective Dick Gumshoe. Okay, Gumshoe's first. Let's see how this goes. Describe the incident. Now! <laughs> yes, sir! Dr. Gumshoe looks nervous. Uh, please take a look at the map. The murder happened late Christmas Eve around midnight. There was one boat in the very middle of the lake. There were two men on the boat. Now there happened to be a woman camping out here on the edge of the lake. At 12.10 a.m. She, she heard two pistol shots. Then the boat started to move. It went towards the boat rental shop. And, uh, that pretty much wraps it up. Hmm. Cool. Testify to the court about your arrest, now! Wait, Mr. Van Karma! Yes? Actually, I'm the one that's supposed to be handling these proceedings. Wrong. There's only one thing you need to do here. You will slam down your gavel and say the word guilty. That is your role! Yeah, yes, of course, you're quite right. No, he's not. That's not how you do this at all. Oh, boy. The witness testimony. All right. Uh, and this episode is rather short compared to previous episodes, but I'm going to wrap this one up here just because I feel like this is a good stopping point. I don't want to go like into the uh, testimony because that'll probably make the episode a bit too long. Uh, I think we are getting good. We've explored some situations we've learned some stuff we've learned that von karma exists and with that said thank you very much for watching and supporting the aduran region in any way shape or form that you do and until next time ladies and gentlemen take care objection